Hello, welcome to Cash Girl TV. My name is Ray Adams. I'm a Chartered Financial Planner. Today we're going to look at uh, going to see a client on an annual review or a six monthly review. So you've already seen them, you've done a cash flow forecast on them, you now want to go back and see them a year later. Of course they're a year older. Do you have to re-enter all the information in again? Well, of course not. We do the same job as you, so we wouldn't want to have to re-key it in. So let's have a look at what you would do on an annual review. So let's go and see uh, example client. So when we went to see example client and did it last time, they were 53 years of age. So all the forecasts and the inputs have been put in. Say for example, they were 53. You've gone to see them now and they're 54. So you just go in and say, create new forecast. Uh, you can give it a name. So annual review 2016. Start in age in the drop down there. You can say, well, actually now the client's a year older. So I'm going to start it from, from 54 and then clone from, so you just clone it from what, one of the forecasts you did last year. And it just imports all the detailing from last year. But of course, the expenditure last year, which may have started a year earlier, and the investments of uh, the savings pot started a year earlier. So now they're starting a year later. So you'd see that uh, the expenditure over the lifetime has changed slightly and the returns have changed slightly. But it's Pretty much as simple as that, guys. Just uh, go in, clone a forecast, and uh, change the start date. Give it a go.